looking at Lucky, the first male in 31 years to win divisional honors at both two and three years. He was a late foe. He was a uh, late May foe, so uh, we were actually taking our time with him. I called Mike Pegram one day and said, you know what, we need to name that horse, because uh, Mike likes to wait to the last minute to see how good they are before he gives them a, a whether he gives them a good name or just a so-so name. And uh, he said, well, he's a late foal. Um, when do you think he'll be ready, like in the fall? And I said, no, Mike, he's, uh, he's going to be ready at Hollywood Park. And he said, really? He said, uh, yeah, because you know, Mike, the really good ones, they come around really quick. He went an eighth and 10 seconds flat at Keeneland's April two-year-old in training sale and sold for $475,000. That was nearly two months before his second birthday. The thing about looking at Lucky is that uh, every three, four, five, sometimes 10 years, uh, when I'm preparing these two-year-olds when they're very young, uh, one of them sort of just jumps out of the crowd. And uh, we've had some really great horses, and uh, he jumped out immediately. In early July, he broke his maiden on debut at Hollywood Park. Looking at Lucky now set down and these two sprint away. Looking at Lucky outside. Sterling out, look at the rail. Looking at Lucky takes charge and looking at Lucky wins. Uh, it's really hard to win first down on synthetic. And I thought he might need an out, but uh, he broke well. He uh, was sitting off the pace. He came up, he engaged the horse uh, that had already run. Uh, nice horse and I thought, well, he's gonna get tired, probably run second, have a good out. And all of a sudden when he went, uh, eye to eye with the horse, he just kicked in gear and showed me that extra brilliance that we're always looking for these horses and we knew then that he was really, really special. Less than a month after his maiden win, he took the grade two best pal stakes at Del Mar. Looking at Lucky, he's got in a pool clear late in the best pal, coming with a late run, make music for me, but looking at Lucky, he's won at three parts of a length. The second out is, is a telltale of a horse because usually I've had him win Really impressively, second out, they sort of, you know, they take a step backwards, but he moved forward in the best pal stakes, won that race. Uh, we came into fraternity, he drew the one hole. I thought, oh, you know, but, uh, you know, you, you never want to draw the, the one hole, and uh, he still came through and won. But looking at Lucky, burst to the front, and looking at Lucky and Garrett Gomez have won the Del Mar fraternity. Then he made it back to back grade one wins in the Norfolk stakes. He suffered the only defeat of his two-year-old campaign. When breaking from the 13-hole, he was just beaten ahead in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile after being bumped close to the wire. Looking at Lucky on the outside, Piscatelli Vale of York. Looking at Lucky Vale of York. Running back in the grade one cash call futurity, he became the first North American two-year-old male in 22 years to win three grade one stakes. Looking at Lucky, suddenly opens up two and a half. Noble's Promise in the program, battle for second. Looking at Lucky, Noble's Promise, looking at Lucky. After enduring difficult trips in the Santa Anita Derby and on a sloppy track in the Kentucky Derby, he showed his true colors in the Preakness. I remember texting the, uh, the, the owners and uh, saying, uh, we're going to go to the Preakness and uh, not only we're going to go, but we're going to win the Preakness. Looking at Lucky is the leader, Super Saver has spent first dude fights on Bailey Jackson, run between horses. You want to twist up some chance on the far outside. Wild finish coming. Looking at Lucky, first dude, Jackson Ben. Looking at Lucky, here's Jackson Ben at first dude. Looking at Lucky, got it. His, his Preakness race was uh, just incredible. And uh, the way he just sat back there, uh, Martin Garcia, Took him to the outside, take him to the outside, get him out of trouble. Because that's looking at Lucky, he could have easily gone undefeated uh, his whole career, except maybe for the Breeders' Cup Classic because of just bad racing luck. Then in a star studded Haskell Invitational, he made it clear that he was the best three year old in the country with a stellar performance. Look at it, Lucky's taking the lead, and look at him take off. Look at it, Lucky's got a four length lead at the 16th pole. And look at it, Lucky and Martin Garcia romping the Haskell. I was looking at Lucky's coming out party to Haskell because he just, uh, he threw it in gear and just took off and ran away from a really nice group of horses. And uh, I think that's what really stamped him as the superstar that he, that he is. 
I've, I've been really fortunate to have some really good horses, but he was sort of different than the rest of them because this is the first good horse I've ever had that had an outstanding pedigree, you know, and so uh, I've had some really good ones, but none which had the pedigree that this horse had, and, and I think that's why he was gonna get better because of the pedigree as he got older. By leading Stallion Smart Strike, looking at Lucky is bred on a similar Mr. Prospector Danzig cross to distorted humor. Well, the, the thing about looking at Lucky, I think uh, the Smart Strike has been, uh, you know, had such a great, phenomenal years, you know, with Curlin and all these good horses. And the bottom side, he had the Danzig, which gave him the, uh, I think the Danzig gives him that when he throws it into gear, he can get to uh, good horses really quick. Could have run on all three surfaces. And, and only the really, really good horses can do that. Virtually unbeatable at two. Awesome at three. Looking at Lucky, the ultimate racehorse the ultimate stallion prospect.